really part of a, a bigger plan or anything, but did you feel like you and LeBron would, would reunite at some point? No. No? No. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, things like this, um, <clears throat> you just don't plan it. It just happens. Um, you know, a lot of people thought we planned it the first time. It just didn't happen that way. Um, you know, with having a, a friend like LeBron and, and uh, if we were just friends, it probably wouldn't happen, but we're two pretty good basketball players, so that helps. And um, our games kind of help each other. But this right here is just something that, you know, came about because of um, the situation in Chicago went a little different direction um, in a different way um, than I wanted to be a part of um, in a rebuilding phase. And once I got opportunity to, uh, to get the buyout, um, LeBron was recruiting me the whole time. Once I got the opportunity to get the buyout, I mean, um, I looked around. I was flattered by the teams that reached out. Um, but at the end of the day, um, this is where I wanted to be. This is where I felt I should be uh, from a basketball perspective to come in and, and be a part of this. You know, this team right here from top to bottom is uh, one of the most talented teams I've been on. Uh, I'm just happy to come and be able to add whatever I can to this, uh, to this group. I know you said the other day you, you missed the big stage. Yes. How, how different is that adrenaline and that, just that being in those moments? So you guys, <laughs> miss you guys. Um, no, it's, it's uh, for me, uh, I've been lucky enough in this league to be um, in a lot of big games, a lot of big moments. I've been in five finals. Um, you know, my whole life I've always, I've been in some big moments. So that's what, that's what makes me alive. You know, just when you come into a basketball season and you just plan to play, I don't like that feeling. You know, uh, when you don't feel like you can compete for a championship and your hope is hopefully to go to playoffs. Ho like, I, I like to know that, um, you know, it's going to be a long season. And those are things that make me feel alive, just being on that big stage, being in those moments. You know, I was telling somebody, I missed, the, I missed those moments where I remember a couple years ago uh, when me and LeBron was together, I had a game in, in um, Indiana where I scored five points. Everybody said I was done. It was this and that. And then I came back the next couple games, scored 30, 28, 41. I missed that. I miss being in my room, not talking to nobody. Feeling like you know the world's on my shoulder, and then coming out and showing what you know what kind of what I'm made of, um, and I haven't I haven't had that in a couple of years. So, you know, getting an opportunity to be back on this team, understanding, uh, knock on wood, everyone stays healthy, and what we can accomplish. You know, those moments gonna come, and uh, I look forward to it. Pigeon, on that ground, can you project ahead to how this team would match up against the Warriors? Because that's a <coughs> you want to see a four P here. <laughs> I cannot project. Uh, how it's going to match up versus them. Um, obviously, the Warriors are the cream of the crop in the NBA because they're coming off a championship. Um, but, you know, with this team, and the media is going to always put us against uh, the Warriors, but so many teams in, in between that. Uh, we only play them twice a year in the, in the regular season. So uh, you got to focus on the teams that you've got to play four times a year that's in your conference, et cetera. Um, and when we get those opportunities against them, it's just a measuring stick in, a, in, a, in the regular season to see where you're at. So, I uh, don't want to focus too much on Golden State. You know, they're for everybody, every team. They're obviously at the top, um, and everyone has to, you know, get good enough to beat them. But you got to beat the guys, um, you know, that, that you're going to see more often than them. You mentioned LeBron recruiting you the whole time. Going back to when and what were those conversations like? Uh, it was it was it was slight. It wasn't heavy recruiting. I mean, I, I think the first time he reached out to me um, was when a couple of days after Jimmy got traded, and he just texted me and just said, "Hey, man, just checking on you." I knew what that I knew, <laughs> I knew what that meant. Um, and, you know, we, we obviously talk, you know, very often. So, um, you know, then the next time um, he reached out to me again a little bit later just to let me know, hey, man, I, you know, um, I would love, you know, if, if something happens in Chicago um, where you're not a part of the organization no more, I would love for you um, to, be, to be here. So just things like that. Um, and, I, and, you know, it, you could, it doesn't matter. We, like I say, all of us here, we all – we love to be, we want to be wanted, you know, by people. Um, so I, I see from the beginning that, you know, this was something, this was before the trade, this was, you know, this was something that uh, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't mind happening from a basketball standpoint. Um, he knew I can help this team in some way. So I appreciated that. And, um, you know, it wasn't a sole reason, but definitely everyone knows our relationship. And, um, and, uh, and he's a big, huge reason why I decided to come in. But this team is just so good, you know, and you just want to be a part of something uh, special like this.